Blaisdell was the target for the weather machine last week, and we edited up some of the moments here as we usually do and roll them on out. And this was the weather balloon that we sent up. We talked about pictures, words, and numbers, and where do we get them? And this is one of the tools. You gotta love those cutaway shots of the kids with their ears. Uh, it is very loud in there, and uh, science is a messy thing sometimes, and it's a hands-on thing too. And if we don't get them on stage, we bring it to them right out in the audience, rolling that weather balloon around. Say hello to Gavin. Now you see him, now you don't. We put him inside of the a bit of a cloud and uh, his buddy Isaiah went the same thing, kind of a smile on his face and make him out in there. Everybody's safety. We have a 100% safety rating with the weather, weather machine. Kids go in, come out the same way, maybe a little smarter. <laughs> That's about the only difference. Hey, there we go, a little bit of cloud in the hair and the hands. Everybody enjoys seeing it uh, appear and disappear. That's condensation and evaporation. That's a bad hair day, says young Brenna this morning. And uh, there we go, another one. We had to do two shows. They had a beautiful auditorium. We did uh, the little guys first, the big guys right after. This is Michael, Jaden, and Ryan. They're about to exchange a shocking experience, a little static electricity demonstration as we show that you are a good conductor and that is not such a good thing. There's one of the signs that might be maybe ready to strike in your backyard. You can see your hair stand up. We threw a little snow around there as well. And I want to give a shout out to Braden Manns. He was unable to attend because he was sick. He'd been really looking forward to it. Braden, I know you're in second grade and there's going to be something waiting for you at school by the end of the day today, buddy. We got guy out for you. Let's go to the seven day forecast. Thank you, Blaisdell, for opening the doors and especially everybody that voted. Those kids were really happy. A great group out there. Next one is going to be out in Attica in a couple weeks. We'll bring you that as well.